Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 Siege for you today and today we're using the new world mod for Rome 2 Total War and this is an excellent mod, it's an overhaul mod, adds loads of new factions and loads of new units and uh, as we're looking at here we're looking at Nova Amazonia uh, with the Amazonian Royal Cavalry and these guys, well these girls I should say, look awesome and if you don't know who the Amazons are they're like elite uh, archers and cavalry, like an elite racer favor archers and cavalry and uh, like a society that doesn't allow men or they, at least they don't I think that this uh, faction Nova Amazonia does have a uh, like men of Amazonia which is kind of weird because I thought the Amazons didn't accept men etc but we'll have a quick look at some of the units um, before we go underway we've got uh, Amazonia we've got like we've got Nova Amazonia we've got Amazonia and we've got Amazonian traditionalists and then we've got Eritrea so another very um, so and there's loads of other new factions as well as like Ebitani, Ebitani and so that was like the Irish factions are in this and uh, all sorts of other stuff. I'm sure I'll be doing some more sieges and I'll show off more and more factions. Um, but yeah, so I'll have a quick look at these. These are the uh, Amazonian elite infantry. We'll start from the best, some of the best swords that uh, Nova Amazonia can bring. And the I, the shields remind me like almost like. Persian like sort of style a bit but they do look really really cool and they like the armor looks awesome it look very Hellenic and uh, yeah they, they look really really nice I must admit most of the, like the work done on these uh, units looks excellent we'll have a look at these guys oh I keep saying guys but they're they're all female <laughs> um, but Amazonian Royal Archers again kind of give me that sort of Eastern vibe with, like the headdresses um, and like the like the armor as well it's kind of remind, like nomadic sort of style but I guess they are like horse archers they have like really good horse archers and archers do the Amazon so I can see why I get that like sort of nomadic style um, we've got Amazonian um, Royal Peltas here from the base like Amazonian faction um, these guys do look awesome as well they just look like Royal Peltasts but the female version really and I like that they don't really change like them up too much that headdress that head uh, that helmet there, sorry. Looks really, really good though. And well, same one there. Um, but yeah, they haven't really changed them too much. And I like that they haven't. They've just given them female models, basically. Um, what else we got over here? We've got Amazonian Heavy Archers. These guys are ever so slight. I'm going to keep saying these guys. Do you know what? This unit. <laughs> this unit looks uh, is slightly cheaper than the Royal um, unit. But they look awesome as well. I mean, again, that sort of nomadic sort of style. They don't have much armor though and they're supposed to be heavy archers but um yeah they do look good as well and um, that's another amazonian elite infantry got amazonian armored infantry here so again they look again have the same sort of persian style uh unit i'm actually trying to see how they're different really they've got similar armor and helmets and stuff like that maybe their helmet's slightly different to the elite infantry i'm not sure they look basically identically the same Oh yeah, the elite infantry have like more like interesting like helmets going on and stuff like that. So that's the difference there. Um, we then got Hoplite Sisters, which is one of my cheapest units actually on the battlefield, but they're still like mid tier. Um, we were playing with quite a good amount of funds. So yeah, this is the, what the Hoplite Sisters look like. Just like a Hoplite unit, but just a female version. And they've got different armor. Again, they've got like that mix of like Hellenic and Nomadic sort of style, and I really like that. And then there's the Amazonian Royal Archers again. What else have we got over here? We've got Amazonian Armored Infantry. Look at them. Armored Spear Sisters. Again, these guys are just like the Armored Swords, really. But they've just got spears instead. But there you go. That's what they look like. So that's most of my army. Um, I believe that's like, yeah, all my units here. I don't have any uh, other different variants. And then we'll have a quick look at Amazonia. And then we'll try and look at the other ones as the battle goes on. I just This will, like... I don't usually do army comps, but I'm just showing off these units because they do look excellent. These are Amazonian Legionnaires. They look awesome. They actually really do um, look amazing. And the quality is just, like, just looks great. And uh, there's a massive uh, like update coming very, very soon. So I definitely would get this mod, try it out, e either before it comes or like when it arrives, like the uh, update. But yeah, these uh, Legionnaires do look amazing. And I think that's the bulk of uh, this Amazon Amazon army here. Yeah, just a load of legionnaires. Spam the legionnaires out. Then we got Pike Wall. So and these these uh, they look just basically like pikemen, but just 
female versions. Oh, look at that person there. They've got really going with the uh, mascara going on there. Um, but yeah, so I mean, they look really good. They look determined, ready for battle. I think these are one of the cheaper pike units. I don't actually know. I haven't really looked at the rosters too much, too heavily. Um, Amazonian archers is one of the best archers that they can bring. Nova Amazonia has like really good archers and I think cavalry as well. And this Amazon faction has like really good infantry and legionnaires and pikes, which uh, Nova Amazonian does not have. But yeah, these are what the Amazon archers look like. More lightly armored, more Hellenic, Hellenic looking in my opinion. Um, they've got four units of them. And then they've uh, got their Amazonian Royal Cavalry back here, which I'm pretty sure is just going to look the same as mine does. Yeah, it does, really. They've got possibly different armor just to represent a different faction, but they do look awesome as well. But yeah, so we'll uh, go to normal speed for now while uh, these units arrive. I'll go over uh, Eritrea, I should say, like as quickly as possible because they've got uh, only a couple of different units. So they've got a Truscan Cohort here. A tr uh, yeah, was that right? Yeah, a Truscan Cohort. So, these guys, these actually are guys. We are now onto a non-female faction. Um, but they do look awesome. They, these are basically just legionnaires, but just Etruscan. And so, they look really nice. Um, we've got, what else have we got? We've got um, Thoros Spears here. Just kind of look like the same, like normal Thoros Spears. Got different helmets. Um, but yeah, apart from that, they're basically the same. They look really nice, and then uh, we've got a unit of. There is another unit over here that's different, I believe, unless they sent it up. I think they did. Might have sent it up. But we've got the Etruscan heavy hot plates here. We'll have a look at them while uh, I look for the other unit. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at that. That is like a gladiator esque sort of like helmet. That looks awesome. But yeah, like the different uh, variations of that looks amazing. I think this is the general here. He's pretty bloodied up. I think it might be, yeah. I mean, he was hit by a few artillery shots. Um, not purposely. I was not aiming for him. I don't general snipe. or try not to, but he was uh, nearby. Then we've got, uh, I believe, yeah, here we go. Etruscan uh, Manipula Infantry. These are different. These are like, a, they look almost like the uh, Legionnaires almost. But yeah, they look really nice as well. And they're just getting focused down currently by the Amazonian Royal Archers as that comes in. The only annoying thing about these factions... They constantly scream. I don't know if the mod is watching. Uh, I hope he, um, like the mod teams, like someone from the mod teams watching. I'd possibly try and get rid of that if possible because it's slightly annoying. Um, like having an entire army that just screams all the time. Um, I mean, these guys aren't really doing it, but those uh, Hoplite sisters certainly are. If you can get them to just like do it as they charge in, I don't know if that's possible. That'd be really, really good, but I don't know. If that's possible. Oh, we've got Amazonian Heavy Cav over here as well. I forgot about this. This is uh, another unit um, from the like base Amazon faction. So, I mean, again, looking really, really nice. It's sort of like that nomadic style, I'd say, going on again. But that's kind of like the vibe that you get with Amazons. Um, they are like a nomadic faction, but from a Hellenic sort of standpoint, if you get what I mean. They're, like, they're known in the Hellenic world, these Amazons. But they are a nomadic people. Um, and they've got Amazonian armored infantry here. We've seen these guys before. This is the traditionalist army. We've seen Amazonian archers before. I think the traditionalists have just basically the same sort of stuff. I think they've got some interesting different variant in Cav. Men of Amazonia. Here we go. So they have them as well. Men of Amazonia. A spear unit. So I don't know how they ever survived in this society. Because like... The Amazons hated men, but they are there. And then I think they just brought like a load of Amazonian armored infantry. Oh, they have got Amazonian elite infantry like myself. Um, so they're very similar in over Amazonian on that, but they have, I think, maybe better cav and worse archers. But yeah, so I mean, that is basically all the rosters. Um, I will be going over some of the other factions as they come and go. Like, I'm sure we will do lots more of this. It's a really fun mod. Um, fatigue in this, I find, is like... A major thing like you go your fatigue will go down really really quickly but look at this don't know what's going on down here but uh like these men are desperately trying to like move and de like get out of this like little force point that they're in and these hot plate sisters here just trying to destroy them i'm surprised they haven't like used their jabbies from the um top and just jabby down onto these uh hot plate sister positions they might do in a minute but uh the main combat really starting over here we've got amazonian legionnaires already engaged you have to apologize. I will apologize for the constant screaming. I feel like they, I don't know if they can get rid of it. 
I don't know if it's just like something you have to have if it's a female unit. But uh, I would definitely maybe only have it for charging and not constant in combat. I don't know if that's possible. I may be asking a lot there, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit annoying. I can see why they have it in like vanilla Rome too. Um, because like, oh, it identifies that that's like a, a female unit because most units are men. But it looks like most units and like these factions especially are going to be female. And if you know what the Amazons are, then you know that it's going to be a female like heavy faction. So I don't think the screaming needs to be in there to be like, doesn't need to be like constant anyway to remind us that these are female units. But I mean, it looks like here these legionnaires are holding their own. I think they are actually, um, no, they're winning the fight. Uh, these elite infantry, which are a lot more expensive than these uh, legionnaires, are actually beating them. I mean, I say that, but then also the legionnaires are losing. So maybe everyone's, yeah, every, well, to be fair, war is a war is like that. Everyone is a loser. If you, <laughs> you, you win, you lose, you've still lost a lot of men usually. If you uh, lose, you've uh, certainly lost even more. Or in this case, it's going to be a lot of women will be, lo will be lost today. We won't be a... Uh, the blood of men won't be spilled, it'll be the blood of women. Mainly. I mean, apart from if you're a Truria, then you are losing uh, a lot of men, possibly, coming over these walls. But yeah, you can see here the blue of uh, Amazonia, and then you've got the red of Amazonian traditionalists. I presume these are like Nova Amazonia, Amazonian traditionalists, and Amazon are like going to be different factions, like in the campaign, which they do have a campaign. It's like, obviously, like. This is open beta, so it's like still a work in progress. And I think there is being stuff added to that in the new update. But uh, yeah, I'll also leave a link to their Discord in the uh, description, so you can go and join that if you want to get tr like interact and find out uh, more stuff on this mod if you're interested in it. And you can just interact with people uh, from the mod team there as well, and also try and organise some games possibly with people there that are like playing the mod. If you're desperate for games. But also, don't forget to join my Discord if you'd also like to play games. Whether it's either New World or Attila or whatever. Any, you can play almost anything if, uh, if you would like on the Discord. Um, if someone's got it. Um, but yeah, don't forget to join and then you can uh, come and interact with some of the subs and myself. And also don't forget if you're enjoying the content around here. Do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and a comment to show your support. But I mean, it currently looks like the uh, battle on the walls is, or behind the walls is currently raging. Uh, there's a lot of legionnaires being set in. It looks like these legionnaires, they do cost a lot less, they're about 700 I think. Um, compared to these armoured, uh, oh these are the elite infantry. Um, they cost like well over a thousand. But yeah, these uh, legionnaires are getting out, uh, out classed really. I was going to say outmaneuvered, but they're not really, they're just, a, it's just currently a grind fest here. Um, there is also a sneaky little, uh, a sneaky little flank enforcer around here by Etruria, who didn't bring any archers, they don't have great archers. Um, so he decided just to bring like a load of infantry, that's not a bad idea. Um, his cohorts back here are getting destroyed. Um, Ro Am Amazon Royal Peltas and Amazonian Elite Infantry just surrounding these guys. And god, I love this mod. It's just, I think, it's just that it's fresh, it's new, and I've not done it before, it's just, it's just really, really nice. And we've got uh, Amazonian Royal Archers here that have been firing down onto this blob over here. have been firing in here and they've been getting like loads of kills. I think these guys are already up to over 100. 146 kills just shooting in there. And I think they've shot over here a bit as well and they've routed stuff. And we've got more Amazonian infantry, elite infantry. And they're holding up so many units. These guys sadly can't go full. You probably could jump off here. Actually, I don't know. There is a bit of a... Oh no, there's like a... A cavern to your death if you try and jump over here. Okay, so that's kind of good map making, I guess. Um, but yes, yeah, so like they can't get off anywhere else, so this unit can just hold on its own here, and the tower will help them. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty rough place to try and attack. They maybe needed another tower or a ram over here to try and like batter through the ram, because six units, yeah, there's in, there's a lot, but like they're not using the weight. They had six units here, but they're not using the weight of those six units. We only had four, and already it became three because I think uh, Amazon Amazonia had to send one of them back. You can see here. Already having to send one back because his legionnaires are not faring so well on the front line. And he's got his cavalry ready. Is being shot up a bit, I think, by archers. Um, but you can see here these uh, archers are kind of ready and prepared for them. 
They're waiting for the right time. I mean, these Amazonian cavalry are nasty, though. You'll see in a moment, like, how bad they... Well, not how bad they are, but how good they are in killing stuff. But, yeah, you can see that these uh, hot plate sisters are starting to lose the size, but now they're getting flanked. Uh, this isn't a pull-through. It's just kind of what Rome 2 does. If, like, there's no room for the unit as it comes off, they kind of just put it to the side. Um, but, yeah. So, I mean, these uh, hot plate sisters need to really, like, get into action and actually start fighting. I just kind of left them in phalanx there. And really should have told them to get out of phalanx and just start fighting, like, everyone around them. Over here, you can see that, well, Etruria is starting to get off the walls again. Hot Place is winning here, though. Just, uh, well, not decisively, but they're winning. And these uh, Armoured Swords are already in combat as well. Fighting some uh, Manipular Infantry. I do love the, like, the names are just great as well, and... There are just some really good factions in this. I'll have to show you some more. There's some more like uh, base game factions that are like now playable as well. Like Cheruski are now in it and they have like their own roster. Which you couldn't play them before. So they're clearly going to have an influence in this campaign. Uh, I'll definitely have to be... Like when the update comes out I am debating doing a campaign for this mod. So if you'd like to see a campaign on uh, this mod then do let me know in the comments. But yeah, you can see here these uh, Hot Plate Sisters holding their own. I love like, the, that helmet there, which has like the visor like almost into the uh, helmet. I'll try and get a better view of that if you, so you understand what I mean. But it looks really nice. Hopefully that Hot Plate Sister doesn't go and die now and I can't find another one. There it is. So this like one here, uh, she's like got her, her helmet, like her visor. It's almost like ingrained into the helmet. I don't think she can pull that down. I think that's just like the style. I could be wrong. Um, but it looks really cool. And now we've got Armoured uh, Spear Sisters going in. We've seen these uh, already. Looking very similar to the uh, swords. But yeah, you can see here, like, these Etruscan cohorts are starting to break through. And they're all around here. There's a big old flank going here. And then we've got some traditionalists now coming down off the wall over here as well. I was, like, being attacked by literally every single front by both the traditionalists and Etruria. And my army's, like, pretty stretched out. I've got stuff in the rear. I've got stuff... Uh, Helping here in this like middle area, which neither of us really wanted to defend. And then there you go, Spears. Uh, Legionnaires starting to break here. That's not a good sign. I think I'm setting up a sword unit. Yeah, I'm setting up my final Amazonian Lee infantry unit, which has been like in the main cap point waiting. And they're being sent up. And they're going to go to their sisters and they're like, We're coming! But in a more feminine voice, probably. They're coming to the aid of their sisters. God, they look professional. They are going to be a nasty unit to break through. But, I mean, they will be a fair match to most of the units on here because they have a lot of their own elite infantry. I mean, I think they send in their elite infantry first before they send in the armoured infantry. And the armoured infantry is uh, poor in quality. But, yeah, so we did miss it, sadly. Um, but the cavalry did charge in. I do apologise. It charged in and, like, destroyed quite a lot of these archers. But, in the end, it was not successful. It got destroyed by the uh, general and uh, some of these sword infantry. And most of the archers return. I think only one of them routed. There's a few are pretty banged up, like 70, 102, 110, but nothing like major. And this one actually might return anyway, 37. It may actually return. I think the generals are just going to go and sit by it to see if it can stop it wavering. But the fight on the walls over here, I didn't even realize this. This unit's been fighting on the walls for a long, long time, these legionnaires. Fighting against spears, so that's no surprise that they're winning that fight. And these are the men of Amazonia. They're clearly not up to the task of uh, beating uh, some women. But these are very elite warriors, so uh, no surprise, to be honest. Should be... That's why, uh, I mean, to be fair, I think well, the Amazons say like, men shouldn't be like allowed into their society because they're weak or something like that. They're like weak-minded or... I don't know. I can't remember the, re like, the reasons why. There's probably a lot of reasons in like, different lore, but... You can see why the, uh, in like the example of those uh, men of Amazonia there, they're not doing their job. They're not being as good as the spear as like the rest of the army which is made of uh, female units but yeah we got uh, our pike wall now in well my allies pike wall now in and it's just forcing back these uh, armored infantry or armored uh, swords and I don't think the traditionalists can bring any pikes I think only Amazonia can bring pikes I certainly know that Nova Amazonia can't but I mean, the tradition traditionalists might be able to, they might not be. I'm not sure. 
But you can see over here, this is kind of getting out of control. We're getting slowly forced back here. Uh, these armored space sisters are now outnumbered. They're not outclassed though. They're never outclassed, especially when they're fighting men of Eritrea. I think it's Eritrea. I want to say it's not Eritrea. It's uh, Etruria or whatever it is. Eritrea is a place in um, Africa, Pope. Get you, get it together. Get your names together. Um, but Etruria. I'm gonna just like say it like three times, and I'll definitely never forget it then. But they're basically the Etruscans. Yeah, not Eritrea. I, I don't know how many times I've said Eritrea now. I feel like an absolute idiot. But anyway. Um, they are actually slowly breaking through. They, I mean, they were right at the wall, and you can see that they've been forced back. It's because of these uh, cohort, which is slightly better than the manipulators. Um, they, they still do have a fair amount of manipulators. And there you go. We're going to have some uh, swords coming into support. They're like a small advance guard there going in first. I love that some of them have like cloaks. I mean, mainly the officers, I think, have cloaks. And then everyone else is just kind of like... Just a normal... I don't know. It's just like... The units look so mythical almost. They're like the armor's mythical. That person's got a hammer! I just like interrupted myself. But that person has a hammer. I'm gonna have to try and like zoom in on that. Yeah, these people have a ha like I mean it's like an axe, but it also looks like a hammer. That's a really cool, like, shaped axe. I like that. Again, that's sort of sort of the mythical sort of style. It's like a weird sort of axe is like different. And, uh, yeah, that's just awesome. I love that they've got that. And they've got different, like, sort of swords. They've got, like, the Greek sort of sword there. Classic sword. Um, and then they've got, like, there's, like, a longer, thinner one there. And it's just through a load of jabbies at point blank range. But they've, uh, finally, anyway, they cut off, like, any possible flanks going on here. And they're now threatening the flank of these cohort. And they're sort of boxed in, are these, uh, men of Etruria. But uh, my archers are still back here. They're firing just... I think they're firing anything that just stands on the wall. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they've got a really good angle onto these guys. And they're just able to pick off anyone. Like, these poor guys here, they have force of their back... Their uh, backs to the wall. And uh, let's see if, like, a volley comes in and gets some, a few kills. There you go. Couple die. Yeah. And they just get picked off bit by bit. And they're now down to 131. They were at 142 when we just checked in on them. We already lost about 10 men. And you can see here, they're throwing jabbies on. I felt like this is what, like, they had to do with the cohort for, like... And I presume the manipulators also had javies, but I'm not sure. Um, but if they did, then uh, they should have used them a bit more. Because these whole places are just getting like punished for just standing here. But I mean, they do look awesome. I, I just like the helmets. Just everything. Just Oh, it looks good. I just keep... You're probably like, Pope, get it. Br like, pull yourself together. But these units look amazing. And it's such a like nice, fresh change from vanilla or DEI. I mean, DEI is still a good looking mo a mod as well. I can't, like, fold it on that. But it's just, this is new. For it. This is fresh. And I'm glad that Rome, Tils Rome 2 is still getting overhaul mods. It's just, it shows, like, how good the game is. And it's still, like, people... I mean, it's got very good mod, uh, like... Like, it's easy to mod, basically. It's got very good modding tools. Uh, better than, like, some of the more modern ones. So you can see why it still gets modded in an overhaul. But it's glad that, like... People are still coming back to this and thinking, hey, what can I do with this? What can I do, like, to make this different? Like, how, make it, like, more interesting, more fun. Um, I mean, I'm not saying, like, the old, the old stuff's, like, not fun. and But it's just, like, when it's something new, I, you always find it's a bit more fun, necessarily. If you enjoy it, anyway. If you enjoy something that's new, you find it a bit more fun than the old stuff. And then you'll, like... Sort of like go in a bit of a loop. You're like, oh, I want to go back to the old stuff now, and I'm really enjoying this. It's like I've not touched this in years. That's not how I find myself anyway. But yeah, my uh, infantry got sent in over here. It kind of like they were threatening the flank with these uh, spears, and uh, they've now uh, basically con uh, dealt with the issue here. And uh, yeah, you can see here these archers now. Just, I mean, the pikes here just force these guys back. Uh, they destroyed them. Uh, basically. Had no answer to it, and they're going to get flanked in here, are the pikes. And there's, uh, I mean, there's nothing the traditionists could do, really. I think they did quite well. They were about to break through, and uh, I think it's kind of credit to this unit here, this uh, Amazonian Elite Infantry. This uh, sword infantry, this Royal Peltas unit took ages to arrive. It's just about arrived. Um, but yeah, this Amazonian Elite Infantry has been here for a long time, and it held up this flank. 
Um, which otherwise, these uh, traditionists could have just got around and probably flanked all of this. And uh, the defense would have been lost. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what they could have done wrong. I think maybe just, like, faction choices. Uh, Eritrea, not Eritrea, Etruria is just, like, clearly not strong enough. The Amazon factions are clearly very strong in this game. They're going to be very strong. And, uh, I mean, we were playing a large amount of funds. So it did allow for, like, us to spam out lots of, uh, not spam out, but bring lots of high, high tier units. But even like the Hot Pipe Sisters, which are like worth 100, uh, 600 or something like that, are very, very solid. Um, but uh, yeah, so, it, I mean, that's probably the reason why, but yeah, Etruria, I think Etruria's nearly got through, he, he's nearly like whittled me down to absolutely nothing. I've basically said in everything that's left is in. Um, clearly his manipulators are just like, just not on the same level as Cohort. I mean, they are about 300 uh, coins different. But yeah, I'm now going to get counterflanked by the flank. So I'm actually sending my troops back. And we're going to deal with these Cohort that are coming over. These pesky Cohort. I think they're Romans. You're not Romans. You just want to be Romans. But yeah, so I mean, I kind of need to deal with this quickly. I'm like desperately firing archers just to try and like uh, sort out this uh, issue. But I'm now shooting these guys on the uh, as they're coming off. The, uh, well, actually, they're, they're already off. It's the generals coming down off the walls. Yeah, I'm just basically shooting everything here. And I am nearly out of stuff. I mean, uh, I'm losing, I'm losing in a few areas. I'm losing in this fight here. I'm losing, I think I'm losing here. And I'm l about to lose here, probably. So they'll be through to my uh, archers soon. So they are nearly through, it's uh, Etruria. But the traditionalists having basically beaten, have uh, been beaten. Amazon can uh, Amazonia can start to send stuff over really so it's it's not like the end of the world if I lose put it like that and I think the rear area is still being fought over this is still being fight uh, fought over I didn't really like show it too much because well nothing happened <laughs> really I mean these uh, royal archers got 210 kills and like the time they've been at the bottom of this uh, like wall just shooting up yeah, this uh, this wall engagement has been going on. It's just been a long grind here, and it's been all uh, wall battle. But I just felt like it's not the quality of battle that's like I'm really showing off today. It's like just more the quality of the mod, and just letting you guys know about this mod if you don't know about it already. I know a few other YouTubers have covered it, and I just felt like I need to do get on the bandwagon myself and <laughs> show it off. Um, but yeah, we've got some royal peltas here. We've got some legionnaires coming up, trying to pin down the general, and here comes my general. In a great charge, charging in. I look with like the ram, like horns on the horses. They look awesome, and uh, I don't know why there's a lag spike there all of a sudden. Um, but at this point, the general for the traditionalists dies, and that basically causes a chain route for the traditionalists. And then, well, yeah, my general just stays in combat. I think at this point, and we're just charging down uh, the general who's now being flanked, and that is going to cause a chain route and a costly victory for Nova. Amazonia and uh, Amazonia, basically. Uh, so I was playing as yet yeah, Nova Amazonia, uh, so I, and then Aiden was playing as Amazonia, and we had Dodgy Gob uh, playing as uh, Truria, and uh, Warrior Project playing as uh, Amazon uh, traditionalists, Amazonian traditionalists. Um, I would also just like to mention that Dodgy Gob does have a channel. I definitely go and check that out. I'll leave a link in the description again for that. If you'd like to go and check that out, go and support him. Um, he does also Rome 2, and he's currently got a campaign going on at the moment uh, on his uh, on his channel. And he also puts up some great battles as well. So I'd definitely go and check him, his channel out. Um, a new and uh, a new Total War channel. Definitely would go and check him out. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, we'll have a look at the end results. So we've got uh, Nova Amazonia here. Uh, my art, like, look at the comparison between these units. Like, have basically the same stats apparently, um, but. These ones cost like a hundred less than these ones. I definitely would bring royal archers more than I bring these heavy archers. Looking at the kill difference, two hundred eleven to two hundred twenty, and these guys only got eighty three and seventy seven. Um, so definitely bring royal archers if possible. I mean, these guys aren't bad um, either. I'm sure they could have got more kills, uh, but they didn't. <laughs> so they uh, that's, that's I'd definitely bring more royal archers. Um, and then uh, my Amazonian armored infantry got one hundred seventy nine kills. I think the best one. All of them nearly get into the hundreds. Um, my Amazonian Elite Infantry, these guys, like, are solid. They didn't get, like, loads of kills, but, like, they were hard to kill. Um, this was the only one that 
got out of the green. These one, this one was in combat the entire battle and stayed in the green, uh, fighting at the back wall. And this one had to go up and fight on the front uh, to help Amazonia out. Um, but yeah, I mean, got 131 kills. They did really well. Well as well, and then my armored spear sisters get 107 kills. They're okay, um, but I'd actually prefer bringing more of these hot plate sisters. I thought they were really, really good, um, better than these armored spear sisters. I personally think, um, uh, and the hot plate sisters did get 173 kills. So that shows like the difference in quality. Um, I think these guys, uh, these uh, ones, did fight some more elite stuff, but I'd still rather bring more hot plate sisters just for cost. Like they cost a lot less, and you could just upgrade them. Um, and then Alien, anyway, brought uh, an artery, he brought Amazonian Onager 76. Uh, he said that this ammo, like, he burnt through his ammo really, really quickly. I don't know if he just wasn't paying attention, or um, he did actually just burn through it. Maybe it's just the mod. They had Onagers have a lot less ammo, so maybe not advised to not bring an Onager uh, if you're defending. Maybe not the greatest idea. His cavalry got 153 kills. His other one only got got zero kills. Um, but these are all like archer kills. So, I mean, they just routed like a load of archers. His uh, Amazonian archers getting 199 kills. I mean, they weren't great, he said. Um, but they seem to get great kills. And they're certainly not as well armored uh, as my uh, archers. But they are still pretty good by the looks of it. Um, always, especially if you shoot like into the rear of like units and stuff like that, you'll get great kills. And then we've got Amazonian Legionnaires. We've got a lot of them into the hundreds. I think the best one got 237 kills, which is good. And then his uh, Amazonian Royal Peltasts um, got 227 kills. And then uh, the Pike Wall getting 131, the best one. And then Dodger Gob, who's playing Etruria, is generally only getting 23 kills, but he joined late and kind of chain routed. Uh, his uh, Etruscan Cohort just seemed to get annihilated. These are the more elite stuff, and they actually didn't get as many kills. They got 141, 173, the best one there. Some is a Etruscan Manipulator Infantry getting zero kills. Wow. Um, I think these guys are good. They only cost like 700. So in like a lower cost uh, battle, they do really, really well. But like when it comes to high cost, their uh, roster possibly isn't as great. Um, whether they'll get like a, uh, some more units in the update, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think the best one of these got like 53 kills. And then there's the Thoros Spears getting 39, which is no surprise with Thoros Spears. Um, and then Warrior Project, uh, his... Uh, he was playing as the Amazonian Traditionalist, and his uh, best units, uh, I mean, his best units, obviously, like the ones down here at the bottom. Um, his Amazonian Royal Cavalry getting 46 kills, which he dismounted to send in. His Amazonian Arch is not doing well in comparison to Aiden's. Um, his Amazonian Armored Infantry getting 116 kills. Uh, his not doing as well as mine, uh, but I don't know. Well, he's just fighting more Amazons, so that's possibly why. Uh, Amazons versus Amazons is a bloody battle. Uh, actually, I think 133 there, that's a better one. Uh, and then his Amazonian Elite Infantry, 166, the best one I can see there, which did, I think outscored any of mine. Yeah. And then um, then his men of Amazonia getting 132 kills, which is actually pretty good for them. So I'm sure the men of Amazonia um, did well for themselves. They showed them, uh, they didn't just, I don't know, get, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, to be honest, you know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they did. They fought with great honor. We'll put it like that. They uh, didn't dishonor themselves. That's what I was trying to say. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, if you hope you enjoyed, if you'd like to see more of this new world mod, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, um, and leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.